Hey everyone, welcome back to Foxtech and in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can take one frame from a video and make it a picture using your iPad. This process can be a bit tricky with iMovie so I'll share some other alternatives as well so let's dive in. So if you want to extract the one frame from a video and turn it into a photo, iMovie on iPad might not be the best tool to for, for this task. Trust me, I've been editing videos for a while on both Mac and iPad and there are more efficient ways to do this. If you just need a quick solution, you can still open the video in the Photos app, play the video and pause it at the exact frame you want to capture and then take a screenshot by pressing the power button and the volume up button. While this won't give you the highest quality, it's a quick and easy method, like you can then crop the photo to make it just the video or like not include the black areas outside it, so that's how you can essentially do it. But let's talk about some better options, like you can use an app like CapCut in comparison to iMovie where, I mean, in iMovie you can even get to one frame, like you know, you can cut videos into multiple different pieces, but you cannot make the video, the trimmed one, so small that it would contain only one frame. You cannot do that with CapCut, which is a third-party video uh, editing app, which is free to download. You definitely should, even if not for this, but for other video editing, it is perfect. Okay, but once you have your video on the timeline, you can go and have your frame cut or like just cut the video and make it just one frame. And yes, you can only export a video from the CapCut, but you can also choose a GIF image from the export page, which essentially gives you a photo since it's just one frame. So here is how you do it. Essentially, once you have it ready, once you have the video cut to just one frame, click on the settings of the export at the top next to the arrow. Don't tap on the arrow right away as this will start the export. You just want to customize the settings at first. So go ahead and click on that and just choose the GIF and you can export it like this. However, one surefire method to do this and if you prefer like a third party app or website, you don't care, you just want to get the frame out of your phone or iPad, you can use a third party website. One such website is called FlexClip and it's not sponsored or anything, but it is a very useful tool where you just open up the website on Safari, you import and upload your video there. You use the video editor to find and extract the specific frame that you need. This method is the most convenient uh, for people that don't want to download any apps and just get it done. This is going to have better quality than uh, taking a screenshot using the Photos app. So hope you found this video helpful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe below, and I will catch you in the future. Peace out until then.